a shower that normally takes me 20 minutes is taking me two hours. This is what we gotta do. <laughs> Ashika Lee here if you're new and if you are new hit that subscribe button if you're not thank you for tuning in to yet another video so this is going to be my morning shower routine and I'm just showing you guys what I like to do in the morning I like to read my bible the verse of the day go in with some gospel music and just kind of set the tone for the day so and also say my prayers so after that I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed now I wasn't a, a make my bed girl because I just felt like well what's the point I'm gonna just get back in it and mess it up but <laughs> hear me out I've been doing it so frequently and it makes me feel really good like I'm starting the day off being productive the rest of the day might as well be productive right I've been doing like this nice little fall theme in my room and I absolutely love it so once that's done we're gonna head into the bathroom and just take care of our oral hygiene because we don't want no stank breath throughout the whole day, okay? So we're going to take care of that right now once that's done. And now I'm really just trying to wake myself up and just trying to get myself in the mood of just starting my day, really. It takes a lot for me to wake up in the morning because I am just not a morning person. So the music helps, gets me in the mood, gets me dancing, gets me moving, you know. So another thing I like to do to put me in the mood is lighting my candle and also using my mahogany teakwood room spray that I got from Bath and Body Works. So I love this candle 100% because it smells so good and it just really sets the tone of my shower. It's just really relaxing and it's just really, I don't know, the aroma of it is just, it makes me feel really good in the morning time. So I know the girlies love to use the actual petals of the eucalyptics in their shower, but I don't have that and this works just as well, y'all. It smells amazing. So then I'm going to have my water heating up for my shower and hear me out, okay? I love using these Dr. Tails bath bombs. I know I don't have a bathtub, okay? I know, but hear me out. What I've been doing lately is I've actually been just using the bath bombs and sprinkling them on the shower floor. And because the water is steaming hot, the smell of the bath bomb just kind of evaporates into the shower and it just does a great job with making me feel relaxed. So now we're jumping into our shower routine and I'm using the Skin Fix Resurface Glycolic Renewing Scrub, y'all. This was a pretty penny, but to me, it's definitely worth it. I mean, one use of this product and I definitely saw a difference in my skin. So the directions are you want to rub the product in on your dry skin at first and then you rub it in with some water and rinse off. So this glycolic um, renewing scrub kind of aids in just your skin looking really smooth. It removes all that dead skin, it softens and it brightens your skin as well. And like I said, it is a pretty penny. I believe it was $36. Um, but like I said, I saw a difference in the first day of using it. So then I'm going to go in with my body wash and I'm going to use the Method Body Hydrating Body Wash in the scent Coconut Milk. And y'all know I'm a sucker for coconut. Like I love coconut. I want to be a coconut. <laughs> so this smells so, 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 so good. So good. And I just go in with that on my loofah and just kind of scrub, get the first, um, body wash in there and I like to use this first because it's going to set the tone for the scents that I'm going to stack on top of that later. So y'all know that I love for all of my scents to kind of tie in together and kind of all have the same scent base because it just makes everything you know a little bit easier and it also makes everything last longer like scent wise so it definitely helps with the longevity of how long this scent will last so next i'm gonna go in with the coco shea honey moisturizing body wash this body wash has got to be my favorite like i don't pull this body wash out unless i got a special like occasion you know whatever that's when this is coming out because it's expensive and you also cannot find this everywhere like it smells 
amazing my favorite 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 scent ever and i don't know if y'all noticed but i was squeezing for dear life just to get a little bit out like it's done it's going like i really 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 love this stuff by far my favorite hands down and we're going to get into exfoliating and i am using the coconut scrub and wash um, this is just like another exfoliator. It's also very smoothing as well and it smells really great again with the coconut scent because we want our scents to tie in together. And I really love exfoliating. It just makes my skin feel really soft. Like I love it hands down. So with this I'm going to use my hands to kind of like press this all into my skin instead of using my loofah because I figured because we already um, exfoliated in the beginning with the scrub there's not really much that we need to get off of our skin so my hands were very much like useful and it was less abrasive so it kind of works it works for me at least so after that this is our last body fragrance that we're going to use i'm using the coco cabana moisturizing body cream cleanser this smells amazing it's an in shower body oil i'll say well in, sh in shower body cleanser so i don't use this with a loofah or a rag or anything i just go in with my hands and y'all this smells amazing it feels amazing and by this point in my shower routine my skin is already nice and smooth so this just gets me even more excited about how smooth my skin is going to be afterwards so i rub that all in with my hands and i just like to let that sit on my body um for a few minutes because the smell just smells amazing and i know the longer it sits it's going to smell and last longer so while that sits, I'm going to go in with my facial routine. So I'm going to go in with the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This is an oldie, but a goodie. It works still for me. And yeah, I like to do my skincare in the shower because honestly, it's just an extra step to be in the shower and then get out of the shower to do your skincare. Like that's really pointless to me. So next, I'm going in with the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash by Fresh. And this is such a good exfoliating face wash like i absolutely love it my first time using it was obsessed obsessed so next i'm going in with the youth by people this is their kale and green tea spinach vitamins facial cleanser and this has got to be by far my favorite facial cleanser so far i recently picked it up and i have not been able to put it down when i say every day every day like i don't miss a beat every single day this gets used okay so next, I'm going in with my shaving cream. And about this time, I don't really shave my legs that often um, because my hair is very thin on my legs. So, you know, I have like a good maybe four weeks before I have to go back in and shave my legs. So I just apply that all over my legs and then just go ahead and shave. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to tell y'all what razor I use because I hate this razor. But I didn't have time to pick up anything else. So... Next, I'm going in with the Tree Hut Coco Colada. Again, with that coconut. Everything got to tie in together. So, I like to go in with the bottom of my feet with this product. It's going to help with keeping my feet very nice and soft. And I also apply that on my legs that I just shaved as well. So, once that's done, this is the last and final step with it, which is our daily feminine wash. And I use this every day. And I absolutely love it. My favorite feminine wash. I've been using this for months and it works. Like, I absolutely love it. No complaints over here. And I'm a stick by it. Okay? Period. <laughs> so, after that shower is done, I'm going to grab the towel and dry off. Because now it is time for my favorite part, which is skincare. Okay? So, I have been going in with a few new products, and these are my holy grail. Like, every day, this is what I use. We have the Versed Daily Brightening Solution, and we also have the Glow Recipe um, products. I'll get into that a little bit later on. So, first, I'm going to use the Versed 
daily brightening solution i take that on a cotton pad and kind of just um wipe my face with that all over okay so next i'm gonna use the glow recipe avocado redness relief serum and this actually came in a dual pack of the glow recipe products so i use this first before going in with the second product which is the glow recipe watermelon dew drops and using this product it just adds a lot of moisture to my skin when i say my face is nice and dewy and glowy like it really helps a lot and using this before your makeup helps as well too all right y'all i've been so obsessed with the belief the true cream aqua bomb when i say this gives me the perfect moisture like it's just something in this product i don't know what it is but i'm hooked i want it i need more i'm already done this little mini travel size one so literally running to sephora right now to go get like five more obsessed absolutely love this product y'all know this is also my holy grail the vitamin e oil i use this every day and i just apply that on my skin and it just adds a nice glow and just makes my fit my skin feel like it's very rich with moisture so now also my favorite part body care after the shower y'all these are the products that i use today and can i just say your girl was smelling good all day all day so of course we're gonna keep up with the sweet smell of like coconut and kind of just like tie everything together. So first I'm gonna go in with the Hemp's Beauty Qua, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and Sweet Almond <laughs> um, Lotion. This smells so good and it's also very moisturizing. It's a light moisturizer, which I'm not mad at because again, I do like to layer my products. So I don't want my skin to feel super heavy or clogged, okay? so. This smells really good and it's very sweet. So you're definitely gonna be able to smell this throughout your day for sure. So I kind of just rub everything all in. Of course, we're just putting on our lotion here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with the Shame Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Body Oil. And this smells amazing on top of this lotion, y'all. Like when I say the smells, they're, they're different, but they're very similar with it being like really sweet. So again, everything just really ties in together. And this oil adds a great shine to my body. Like, like, do y'all see that? What? So next, obviously, we're going to go in with some deodorant. I love using a dry spray by Dove. It just lasts really long to me. And this is in the scent Karen Coconut. So next, this is my favorite body oil, the bio oil, y'all. I use this every single day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't apply this. It's good for stretch marks. It's good for skin discoloration. It's good for hyperpigmentation. It's good for dry skin. Like everything you can think of, get this and use this. I'm faithful to it. <laughs> so next, our last product. Honestly, you can really skip this step. I'm just really extra. By this point, I was already smelling really good, so I didn't really need to do it, but... This is also a very nice moisturizing cream that smells good with everything else. So now that that's done, we heading back into the room and we are putting on our loungewear outfit. This day I didn't really have anywhere to go, so I just threw on my skims and we're going to just, you know, look cute. I actually really love skims. It just makes me feel like nice and cozy. So next I'm going to go in with the Truly pineapple hand and foot cream this has cbd oil in it and this makes my feet so soft like the entire day and i also use it for my hands as well so now to finish off the scent of everything i'm gonna go in with my ariana grande cloud perfume it ties everything together so beautifully it's just a great everyday perfume now that we're done with our shower routine i'm just gonna get started with my day some work done take out my laptop my ipad and my phones my business phone and my personal and we just have to go over a few things and just make sure that i am on schedule with everything that i have to do that day so i'm just showing y'all me on my ipad you know the girls were right once you get an ipad you just kind of feel a little bit more put together a little bit more organized and i am just obsessed with digital planning now like I was a notebook girl. I'm still a notebook girl, but I love my iPad. Like it definitely just makes me feel like, girl, you gotta get this done. 
it's weird but it's some type of motivation into it y'all i promise okay so thank y'all so much for tuning in to yet another video all of the products that i use will be listed down in the description box below and before we go today's motivational quote is you might be overwhelmed but do not forget that you are meant to succeed just keep moving forward and trusting god so with that being said i will see y'all in my next one bye